Hey baby, it's been a gear and welcome back. We are here once again on Lunaris as usual. And recently a lot of people have been asking me how to make money, whether they're starting off on the server or they're starting to get a little higher level. So today I'm going to show you guys all of the best methods to make money, whether you're a beginner, whether you're a veteran, doesn't matter. I'm going to show you the way. We are also giving away nine legendary caskets. I did a whole video on these. You can check that out. I got some crazy stuff, so you guys are going to want to enter that. So maybe you can get some crazy stuff as well. Also, as you guys know, you can swap between Lunaris and Old School RuneScape. I'll put like all the rates and information in the description if you're curious on that. And they do a bunch of Old School GP giveaways. Not only do they randomly give out Old School Bonds to players on the server, but they're holding a vote event this month with over 100 mil OS7 GP as a reward. There's going to be five places. And they're giving another over 100 mil Old School GP through daily and weekly tournaments this month. So there is a lot of money to be won. By the way, Jimmy's got a new contender. This is actually a new pet from a new boss that we're going to be taking a look at later. Take the, where are you, little guy? Oh, he went behind Yaz. Come out, little guy. <laughs> there he is. He looks pretty cute. Yeah, we'll be been checking out this boss a little bit more later, but come on, Jimmy. Get out here. You're my true son. There you. <laughs> well, where did he come from? He, he ended up he ended up coming out of Limpan. Just right out of his skirt. He was just hiding under his void robe. Sometimes he gets nervous, he likes to hide. Alright, so the first money making method I'm going to show you guys is killing the Lunaris Warrior. Now this is cool, it's a bit of a secret boss because not everybody knows about it, and not everybody knows that we're on Donator Island, but you can actually vote to get here for free. So you just do colon colon vote, and you literally get free Donator for the day, and you can come slay this guy. Oh, gonna want to put on a whip, can't, can't be kicking him. And it's an easy fight, you only got protect from melee. And hey, we actually got some Wrath Runes, it's actually not bad. Remember, you can come up here and talk to Hari and actually take a look at all of the drop tables. The champion is a new one we're going to check out in a little bit, but this is the Lunaris Warrior. He's got a really nice drop table just to make some quick money, especially for beginners, and there's just a lot of stuff you can sell in here as well. I actually did a video on the Lunaris Warrior, and I hit the very rare drop table, but I got the Dark Bow. Kind of unlucky. Because all of this stuff would have been worth because all of this stuff would have been worth a lot more. Alright, so for number two in our guide, this one's a little bit more risky, but you will make more money, and that is revenants. Uh, which of course it is in the wilderness. So all the revenant drop tables are pretty similar. I would say classify it in two different categories. Um orc and up drop pretty much everything as the other ones, but they also drop a cannon. And when you go to the demon, he no longer drops the cannon. And everything below him does not as well. But overall, you can see there's a lot of really good stuff you can get from here. I also really love when drop tables just have a bunch of different items, not just like one or two items to sell. But yeah, as you can see, there are a ton of different good drops to get. And the blood money also really adds up. I actually did a video on Revenants too, and I actually got some pretty good stuff. I'll show you some clips right here. These babes, aka the Din's men, also came over to protect because I'm kind of a big deal, guys. What can I say? Ooh, and Yaz actually just traded me this one mil 07 GP. Okay, cool. So this is actually the token that you can trade over to an administrator on the swap days, which are the 15th and the 30th. I'll get the rest of the information in the description, by the way. All right, on to the third money-making method. That would be a slugs. Giant rock slugs and cute little baby rock slugs. Oh, a YouTuber. Can I suck your dick, please? That's all that matters. Just make sure you fondle the balls. All right, so I'll show you the drop tables really quick. This is the normal rock slug. These are super low HP, you kill them very fast, and they still have some decent drops. A few different caskets which are always fun to open up, and a ton of wrath runes which you're really going to want because to deal the most damage against slugs, you're going to want to use fire surge. Now here's the giant rock slugs drop table. By the way, this nest box is actually a new mystery box, which they are going to rename. But I don't know, I kind of like, I want a nest box, sounds nice. But yeah, the reason these are so good for money is because they look at this common, all of the drops are in the uncommon column. So you'll actually get these drops pretty quick, and they got Tome of Fire, Crystal Halberd, 25 mil cash, bus of Wrath Runes. Alright, so as you can see, these little rock slugs, not a lot of HP, they got like 100 HP. So you need to build up some Wrath Runes, you can kill a bunch of those first. Alright, so here's a fresh giant rock slug right here. Now the reason that these are cool is they do have a lot of HP, but they're just basically completely AFK. cable. And look at the hits that you get. When 120 when you're using fire surge you can use other you can use like other lower level fire spells i believe if you don't have that yet until you get the wrath runes but uh yeah he has a quite a bit of hp and i'm not gonna steal this guy's drop so i'm not gonna hit it too much bossing isn't the only way to make money you can also make money on skilling it's gonna be smart and find out what people need or what you can sell to the shop now we're gonna be making some super combats right here so I believe you need 90 Herb Lord. you're going to need a Super Attack, Super Strength, Super Defense, and Clean Torstals. And you just put it together, and there you go. I think we can uh, do this a little quicker just like that. Nice, not bad. 
And there we go, we got seven super combat pots. And you can come over here to the general store and sell it to these chumps, 25k each. Of course, that was only seven of them. You can make some decent money, though, if you get a nice system going. And, of course, you can do this with tons of different stuff. I would say test it out and then go, you know, sell stuff to the general store, see if it works. Because who knows, you could even be making glory, sell them to the general store and make bank. You just gotta find a way. Now, Slayer is always a decent way to make money. You can get tasks over here on Vanica, get good drops, and buy stuff from his shop as well. But remember, you can vote for free access to the Donator Zone. I'm actually going to be going there now because Neve is over here. She says, hello, my elite friend. You can actually get boss tasks from her as well. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And look at that. got nine Cerberus. Only nine is actually not bad either. So yeah, this is super good to know. Because I mean, if you're going to be bossing anyways, you're going to be making money. But you can be making even more money doing these boss tasks. Also, I think this is kind of fun being told what boss to kill. Kind of like a challenge. And by the way, 250k to reset a task is nothing. That's actually really cool. So you could pretty much reset tasks all day until you get a boss that you actually want to fight. All right, next method is Rune Dragons and Addy Dragons. To get the Rune Dragons, you have to have Super Donator, um, but Addy Dragons are free to everybody. They pretty much have the same drops. These ones are just a little bit better, but you'd be fine killing Addy Dragons as well. Now let's take a look at this drop table. A lot of decent stuff. If you're really lucky, you'll get the Dragon Hunter crossbow. That would be great. But what you're also really looking for are the Dragon Key Pieces. Of course, if you don't know already, you put all these together, and then you can teleport and kill Vorkaf. And this is where you can really make some bank. Look at the rare drop tables on here. 50 mil blood money. And I mean, just the list goes on. Look at all of this different stuff. There is so much. Look, it keeps going. And a Dragon Warhammer. So yeah, a lot of drops to be gotten there. All right, so this one is really good too. Mass Raids. Now, yikes, I came in here without a dragon fire shield and stuff because so i wanted to show you guys but pretty much every day they hold mass raids on the server i did a whole video on that it was nuts just a tons of people in here but yeah basically the raids go by super quick and you have a chance at some of the best loot in the game oh yikes so i'm getting wrecked here from the red dragon i was actually just talking to demise here he was doing them the other day and he literally got three rare drops he got 100 mil cash Dragon Warhammer, and one of the new prayer skulls for like Rigor or Augury. So yeah, it's really great because when you get at the end, every single person that was in the raid, regardless of how much damage they did or whatever, they will get a drop. And as you see, he got hella lucky. I never got that lucky. All right, guys, now we are moving on to our last money making method. And this is a new one. And the one I mentioned at the beginning, it's a new boss. Wait a minute. We got to bring him out here. Come on, come here. Don't be shy, little Lunar's champion. So to get to the Lunar's Champion, you actually do have to have Top Donator. Sadly, you cannot vote for this, but I guess that just means that there's pretty much always going to be one here. There's actually two on each side as well. There's one on the other side, which somebody is fighting right now. And then there's one right here. Let me just... Oh my god. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh, he just... He just does like unlimited claw specs. Mm, yeah, you're going to want to make sure you protect from melee on. Let's see what he can do if I take it off. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, he hit 51 on one. Okay, don't do that. Don't test that out. I guess technically that means he can hit 451s with his spec. Of course, usually I would have Jimmy here helping me out, but... Wait a minute, I'm just like murdering his dad in front of him right now, aren't I? Well, he's not really helping. Maybe, maybe he doesn't like his dad. I'm his new dad. See, I took him in when nobody else would. Okay, I don't even really know expect... I haven't seen his drop table yet. We're gonna check it in a sec. Oh, hey, a Gilded Guide Shield. Hey, I'll take that. Okay, of course we gotta take a look at these drop tables. I actually haven't seen them myself yet. Kind of excited. Alright, let's see here. You got those cannon pieces. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff here. Where do I even begin? So he dropped some of the new boxes too as well. Oh, he dropped 1 mil 07. That's crazy. As I showed you guys a little bit earlier, uh, these are little tokens that on the 15th and the 30th, you can trade in for 1 mil 07. He's got a lot of different drops. Armor set for, I'm not sure what that is, if that's like another mystery box. He of course drops his pet, and look at item magnet. Now, I'm pretty sure how this works is it either picks up items for you or it automatically banks them for you. Either way, that's going to be worth some money. 350 lava dragon bones, that's actually really good too. We got the uncommon drop table, we got the gilded kite shield. Let's go kill one more. Yeah, I just want to test a little bit out. I want to see what the crystal halberd can hit on this guy. He was pretty tanky. Yeah, he, he it was kind of hard to hit him. Even with like the gear I have now. There we go, a little bit. Let's see here. Okay, okay. Okay, mage isn't bad. So far, I'm hitting most hits versus melee. I was getting a lot of zeros. So, already a nice little tip here. If you're going to kill this guy, you actually probably should mage him, honestly. This is this is actually way better. That was much quicker. All right, what are you going to give me this time? Something rare? Get a lamp. I'm tempted to take off my protect from melee again. Why am I doing this? Like, I don't know why. Okay. It's just fun. It's just fun to live on the edge, guys. Come on. Oh, I didn't even have augury on either, and I was already destroying him. And some U-logs. Okay. Okay, one more. God damn it. Give me your bank. 
Uncut Ruby. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. But anyways, guys, that is going to conclude our money making guide. I hope this helped you guys out because I know how hard it is to start on servers and make money. Every server is different and you want to start on the right foot. You don't want to waste time. You want to get that bank as soon as possible. And if you follow this guide, then you're pretty much guaranteed to get rich in the end. So, like I said, guys, remember, we're doing a nice juicy giveaway. We have nine legendary caskets. We're going to have first place gets four, second place gets three, and third place gets two. Just spiced it up a little bit. Take a look at the screen. All you have to do to enter is like the video. Take a look at the screen. All you have to do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave your in-game name down below. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I highly recommend you hop on Lunaris. I've been having a lot of fun on the server. I think we almost have like 10 videos on here too. So yeah, lots of content for you guys to enjoy while you boss. And yeah, this community is just awesome. Like every time I log on, like most people coming up to me just saying the nicest stuff. And it feels good, man. So hope you guys have a good day. Like the video if you did. Go a little bit more videos. And have a nice day.